What's cooking, guys? This is Roman for Roman Studios, and welcome back to Spooky House of Jump Scares. Or should I say, Karamari Hospital, which is a DLC that just came out. Well, not just came out, but it came out kind of recently for Spooky House of Jump Scares. And I decided we just finished the Spooky House of Jump Scares series, so why not play the DLC and get it over with? I don't think this is going to be too long of a series, considering every or the one playthrough I've watched didn't take too long at all. But you know, whatever. Keep your chin up, guys! Every day is Wednesday! Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. So, the story for this DLC is an alternate universe thing, I guess, where the elevator craps out and goes below the thousandth, fl the thousandth floor. And we don't just get the normal spooks, we get a spooky hospital full of abnormal spooks. Oh, I thought those were notes. I was like, why are there notes on the walls everywhere? So anyways, we got some spooky noises in the background, but nothing too terrible as of now. So I guess we're fine. Fine, fine. I really like the wall textures, and I just have to say that I honestly really like how these games are made. Oh my god, it's spooky. Well, the elevator broke. Well, I, I didn't know that either. So, well, what, a little more explanation would be nice, spooky. Well, at least the walls are broken down. I mean, that gives us an idea as to what we're in for, I guess. I think there's going to be one or two episodes to this series. Not too much. I want to get started with Eeb. Welcome back, guys. It had to import some 3D models and then the game crashed, so that wasn't good and I didn't like that. Uh, but here we are in Karimari Hospital. Isn't this lovely? Isn't this great? This doesn't look spooky at all, and that's not an exaggeration. I love when I can say something doesn't look spooky. Remember, wash your hands, dispose of materials, Champion under spasm? Pay attention to the chest. Wash hands and have a nice day. Alright, that was great. The great sign, I could read that so well. Uh, let's go into the woman's. Or not the woman's, I guess. What's this? Can I look at myself? No, I'm just gonna press every sink until something happens, which nothing will happen. Out of order, can I open it anyway? No. Ah, oh, somebody didn't leave a very nice thing in here. Ah, oh, damn it. Some freaking blood everywhere. Maybe it's because the girl's room is blocked off. Wink. Okay, so... Magazines and stuff, Karamari Hospital. Cool, cool, let's go down this hallway. And see what's up. Ah, uh, that door's broken, that's what's up. Are there any notes? Are there any story progressionals? Progressionizals? Story progressions? No. Not in that room. No, no, no. Not in that room. Oh, there seems to be story progression here. Joint pain. Be afraid. And combat cancer. Being afraid that you. Alright, uh, that was a very meaningful thing. I'm glad I read that. I'm probably reading those completely wrong, but whatever. Wait, am I yeah, I'm going this way, okay. Oh, it's the same sign as before. Oh, what's in here? Oh, there's a note. Dr. Hamada, oncologist. The patient has displayed increased depression after being informed of their terminal terminal disease. I prescribed an antidepressant to regulate this, but was later told I had cancelled the prescription. I have no memory of cancelling the meds, nor can I find any evidence that my orders were tampered with. Hmm. That's weird. Alright, is this door open? No, it's broken. Oh, there's some stairs. We could go down there. Let's go down then to the basement first. Of course, that's what you always want to do in a scary game. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's weird. Can we not go past that? No, we can't. Is there anything else in here? Oh god, this is... This is scary! Um... Is the maintenance room open? No! Is the break room open? Yes. Oh god. 
What happened down here? Why is the break room in the basement? Are they hiding bodies? Uh, there's a key, there's a key, there's an office key. Right, well, we got the office key, so that probably insinuates that we should not go to the maintenance room, but instead we should go to the office and get ourselves out of the basement, because that basement was creepy. I didn't like that basement. This is the worst basement I've ever seen. Are there any more notes here? No, there are not. Don't bother the doctors. They've got enough blood on their hands. Deal with it or yourself. Okay, well that's not creepy at all. Where did that accent come from? Your pain is just a product of your broken mind. Alright, uh, that's kind of weird. It's electronically sealed. Am I gonna have to turn the generator door off? I watched Marky Moves play through, so we probably am, considering that's what he did. Alright, we got unlocked. What's in here? What is in here? Absolutely nothing, but there's some story. Dr. Hamada, it seems the other me has been giving large doses of hallucinogenics. They have worsened the depression and is now... And he is now constantly screaming and expressing terror at seemingly random intervals. I've tried using a dialysis machine to remove some of the drugs, but it seems futile. Oh gee, Dr. Hamada, what has the other you done? Why are all the doors broken? What happened? I need something to put in here. It looks like something fits inside. Uh, <laughs> okay, that was... Don't do that, Ramen, don't do that. Wait, am I going backwards? I think I'm going backwards. I have no idea if I'm going backwards or not. I'm pretty sure we went into this room. No, we didn't. Ta Dr. Tochigi, herpetologist. Hepatologist, I mean. I was just informed that the procedure to extract the patient's liver became fatal. I don't know why. Why do I take his liver? There are no signs of don- There are no donation requests and he was showing signs of improvement. The surgical staff told me I personally demanded the liver be removed for an emergency transplant, and the worst thing is I found it. I found his liver, his entire liver, just sitting on my desk. Well, that's not creepy at all. Uh, this door was broken, right? No, it wasn't. Ah, the door wasn't broken. There's just a chair. All oh, right, this room was useless. Absolutely useless. Let's go through here. Oh, this room has stuff. Can I... Oh, no, I can't exit. Not yet. Broken. Locked. That's the only door that works. Nurse Tanaka, report number 405. I've locked out today while driving to work. One minute I was driving down the road, and then in an instant I was standing outside my car, staring down at a dead cat. I must have hit it with my car and felt sorry. The image of the dead cat has constantly unnerved me today. How did I manage to hit it in such a way that to make the body completely twisted around like that? Pretty sure you didn't hit it with your car. Oh, it's electronically sealed. Do I have to go back down into the basemental, basemental, min menthos, basement, basement? I have no idea how to commentary today. Do I ever have any idea how to commentary? No, no, I don't. Well, we're just gonna go this way and back into the basement, I guess. Ugh, I hate this basement. It gives me the spooks. I guess that's the whole point of this game, but you know, still, it gives me the spooks. I, can I go into the maintenance room? No, I need to find a key. Where is the key, though? Okay guys, I'm back. So apparently I was really stupid and the maintenance key was in the liver dude's room. Which is dumb. Uh, but we're gonna go to the maintenance room now, I guess. As that seems like a logical thing to do. Since the generator or whatever would probably be in the maintenance room. So we're just gonna go down here. Not go towards the bloody thing, gushy thing, but we're gonna go towards the maintenance room. Alright guys, are you ready? We turned it off. Great, now everything's gonna be terrible. Terrible and bloody, and did I mention terrible? And I'm probably gonna die. Should've mentioned that too. 
Uh, let's just go back into here and save with the water fountain. Alright, game saved. Where are we going now? Oh yeah, electronically sealed door. Wait, no, was that over here? Might have been over here. There was an electronically sealed door over here. Yeah, there we go. Probably should have gone to the other one first, though. Oh, Jesus Christ. I... Okay. Okay. That's great. That's great. Oh, that's great, too. Great. Uh, this is uh, amazing. I love it. Oh, gee. Oh, that didn't... That shouldn't have scared me. Okay. Please get away from me, Mr. Popeye Arms. Stairs. Mr. Popeye Arms. He looks like Popeye. Very dead Popeye, but Popeye nonetheless. Morgue. Something sinister is beating on the wall of my subconscious, beating like a war drum, motioning me to march down into hell. Alright, well, there's just bodies everywhere. I am very uneasy. Acid picked up? Why do I need acid? Why do I need acid? Am I gonna kill something? Oh, gee. There's two doors for the morgue. Three, four, there's a lot of morgue. There's more morgue where that came from, more morgue. More morgue, morgue, morgue. I got a key. Oh no, I got a metal emblem. So, I'm supposed to go to the emblem room, I suppose. Oh Jesus! Oh God. Oh God. Where am I going? This didn't happen in Markiplier's playthrough! Ah! Oh god! What the f- What the hell? Did that happen in Markiplier's playthrough? I don't remember that. Alright, where's Popeye the Sailor Man? It's not here, not right now. Suppose I should be thankful for that, shouldn't I? Oh god. That was terrifying. Spooky sassy jump scares was spooky, but not this spooky. Yeah, it is spooky. Oh god, can you save me? I'd rather be one of your- I'd rather be one of your soldiers, spooky. No, come back. Ah. Uh, let's save, I guess, before we die. Uh, the, the medallion room was in here, you stupid ramen noodle. Yeah, see, it was in here. And now a door will open leading into hell. Great. Let's go save again. Just in case we die again. Let's go save again in case we die again and in case we dead. I don't know why we picked up acid, by the way. That'll probably come in handy someday. Oh wait, no. Wrong door, wrong door, wrong door. There's still a door we haven't gone through, which is the ele other electronically sealed door, but it seems that we don't really need to go through it? Not sure. Anyways, let's go down these stairs. Very spooky, scary stairs. I can't run. Oh, gee. Hmm. I, I know the scares to expect, but like, oh, uh, it's still... <sighs> What's that? I heard something. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, is that a liver? Don't look back. Don't look back. Don't look back. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, it's fine. It's all okay. Oh, it's not okay. This is not okay. Brace myself for death and dead. Alright, what's in here? This is the room that uh, I saw. It feels cold. Why didn't you touch it? Why did you touch the blood splatter on the wall? You didn't need to touch the blood splatter on the wall. Uh, uh, there needs to be something in here. There's something in here. I know there's something in here. There is something in here. 
Come on, give me the something that is something itself, way self something into this room. So there was nothing in there. Is there anything over here? Yes, there is. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Hmm, I'm so scared, I don't know what to do. I'm actually legitimately terrified. How about you? Uh, where am I going? Oh, Jesus, there's a thing over there. Is that the baby head? That's probably the baby head. I don't want to see the baby head. I don't want to get killed by the baby head. Don't touch me, baby head. I can hear the baby head. And it's making me not uh, not comfortable. Where am I going? I'm completely lost right now. Um, okay. We're just gonna go this way, I guess. Hmm. What's this? Wrong way to go. Was that the wrong way? Was it? Uh... Uh, come at me, whatever you are. I'm here. I, I got an axe. I can kill you if I want. I I should probably just go back up the stairs and go through the electronically sealed other door that I didn't go through. But you know. Who needs to do that? Oh god! Get away from me! That was not expected. It should have been expected, but it wasn't. What is this? Is this an endless hallway? Is it? Ah. Uh, well, we're really just gonna keep going. Stay to the sides, I guess. Uh. I saw a thing that said to keep going down it no matter what, but I'm not sure if I should trust that. Oh, gee. Pretty sure it's just endless. Come on. There has to be something. Can I use that acid I picked up? I apparently can't use that acid I picked up. Okay, we're just gonna go back. We literally made it nowhere. That was pointless. That was a pointless endeavor. Oh, get away from me, baby face. Oh, God. Can I... Hey, friend! Uh, that's not a good thing to do to yourself, friend. Please don't do that, friend. Friendolino. Friendolius. Buddy pal. Uh, oh, is this room pointless? This is just another pointless room. Is, oh, no, there's something shiny. Isolation key picked up. I have no idea. I don't know where that goes, but apparently I just did something terrible, so we're just gonna head on out of here. Oh god. Oh Jesus Christ on a bicycle wheel. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Broken, what is that? Oh god, it's gonna kill me. I died. Uh, we're back, guys. I don't know what happened. I don't think we have the isolation key anymore, but for now we're just gonna go through the other electronically sealed hallway while we're already dead, I guess. Oh jeez. It's just more blood. More terrible blood. Oh gee. Oh, it's that guy. Okay, so it didn't matter which electronically sealed door we went through. Well, isn't that lovely? All right, that was a uh, great. I I loved that. That was uh, the most useful, the most pleasant thing I've ever done. Oh, it's a chair. Nice. Wait, what happens if I sit in the chair for an elongated period of time? Dun dun dun. We're just gonna sit here. It's quite calming compared to the mojo and groove of the rest of the game. To the feel. Look, it's like snow. It's nice. It's like it's dust particles. Duster. 
I don't know what to say. Uh, they're turning purple. Great. That's probably not good. Purple means supernatural. I should probably get out of this chair. It's probably something I should do. Nonetheless, I want to stay in here for a little longer. Just, just cuss. All right, it's starting to be bloody. Let's get out of the chair. It was started to blood and stuff. We're not gonna stay in that chair. Is it this way? Is this the, no, that's Popeye. Popeye the sailor man. Doot doot. Let's go through this. Oh gee. Okay, that's broken. We gotta go back with Popeye anyways. Let's just go the short way to Popeye, why don't we? Hey Popeye! Alright, wait, where are the stairs again? Oh yeah, here are the stairs! Please don't kill me, Popeye. I thought we were good buddies, best friends. Mmm, this episode's already 25 minutes long. What if I just make it one of those long, special episodes? That sounds good. Oh yeah, did we save after getting the acid? I'm just gonna check. I'm pretty sure we did. Uh, okay. That, uh, let's check if we got the acid. Because if we got the acid, that means we're done, done, a low, done, oh, in these morgue rooms. This is a morgue. Okay, the acid was back there, so pretty sure we got the acid. Wait, that door's broken. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got the acid already. Ooh, isolation room. That's the thing we got the key for, but then I died, so... We're just gonna go back and get the key again. I suppose I'll be right back. This is attempt number five. Remember, Ramen, go to the door on the left. Also, run like hell. That's another thing you should do. Go to the door on the left! Yes! We did something right for once, I think. Oh, jeez. Us. Jesus. Jesus Christ. We are doing not good. We are not doing very good. We made it? Question mark? Oh, jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, that took so many tries. That took so long. Oh, that legitimately scared me though. That was... That was pretty good. I like that, actually. That was nice. Okay. Take deep breaths, Ramen. Take deep breaths. It's gone now. The only thing chasing me now is Popeye the Sailor Man. Well, I just go through this side, I guess. And then we'll go to the isolation room. Hello, Popeye the Sailor Man. Don't hit me. I don't like it when you hit me, Mr. Popeye the Sailor Man. Unlocked. Go through. Oh, we should have saved. Well, let's go save. Let's go save before I have to do the freaking getting the isolation key all over again. Uh, tell me if you want to see more long episodes like this, by the way, guys, because this episode is going to be long. This episode is long. What am I talking about? Ah, that's so ominously good. Ooh, wrong set of stairs there, buddy. Oh, buddy, old pal, oh god, he hit me and he hits hard. Let's just sit here and heal for a moment, because we're obviously going to die if we don't have full health. I mean, I mean, probably going to meet some terrible monster who's going to have us meet some terrible fate. He's going to be like, I ship you in terrible fate. I don't like that. <laughs> right, we're just going to sit here. Regain our health for a few seconds. There's this lumpy death. Heal. 
Okay, a few more seconds of healing and we're gonna be fine. Yeah! Okay. Back into the isolation room. Go into every room for story stuff. Oh, jeez, there's nothing much in this room, is there? Broken. Not broken. Oh, God. Uh, I have no idea what the purpose of these rooms is right now. Other than to spook me. Oh, somebody's hands are not very handy. But, um, uh, that was terrible. Oh, that's just a pool of blood. Puddle of blood. Excuse me. Excuse my language and my wrong grammars. There's nothing here either. We're mar we might be going backwards by accident. I don't think we are, though. Oh, this maze. I remember this. I watched Markiplier die a bunch of times. And I'm probably going to die a bunch of times, too. All I remember is follow the main road, but apparently... That's not getting me anywhere, because I followed the wrong side of the main road. Hmm, <clears throat> which way do I go? That was the wrong way. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yes, you're gonna die. We're gonna die. Don't you love that? A song by Ramen. Buy it on iTunes today. I'm kidding. By the way, for anyone who took that remotely seriously, I don't sing well at all. Therefore, that is not going to be on iTunes. I don't even know how to put stuff on iTunes. Why would I? Why would I sell a short little song about me dying today? Uh, well, I died, but you know that's besides besides the point. Uh, that's besides the point. We're just gonna. Go back to the isolation room. Oh god. What's with this game? It's so much it's so much scarier than the last one, to be honest. So much scarier than the Spooky's house. Like Karamari Hospital really nailed hit the nail on the head with the scariness, and that's just my opinion. That's not a very popular opinion, I'm willing to bet, but I it's my opinion. So let's try that maze again. This way, this way, leading to freedom, today, today, leading to freedom. We probably went the wrong way, we totally went the wrong way. What the hell is that monster? Oh my god, we're gonna die. Buy it on iTunes tomorrow. Yeah. That was different than what I said last time, huh? See, I can commentate. See, guys, I'm not terrible at commentating. We made it! Oh, yes, we made it. Broken. Oh, there's a key. Exit key picked up. I'm so sorry, my little angel. I've tried hating the man that took you from us, but in the end, the only person I can hate is myself. You always like to scare people, especially when they didn't understand something. I was confounded no one understood your costume, but I guess people don't really read Poe anymore, even with the new prize film. That man clearly overreacted to your fireworks, but we can only blame a PTSD sufferer so much. Oh, Edgar Allan Poe? And did she get shot? Is this talking about spooky or something? Well, at least I don't have to go through the maze again. That would have been terrible. Uh... We're just gonna run over. I thought that was a monster, but it was just gurgling blood. Hello, Popeye. Uh, we're just gonna go, I guess. And see, see the exit. We're gonna save first, though, just in case. Ah, yes, game save. Save. It's not staved. Save. We went the wrong way, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Actually... Uh, do we just go through the office door, or...? I don't know. The exit's over here, alright, we got to the exit. Yes, did it, guys! Probably gonna split this up into two parts, just so you don't have to watch it all the way through in one sitting. Yeah, here I am. Yeah. What? 
What? You're not gonna reward me for going through Karamari Hospital? Well, screw you too, Spooky. Oh, where are we going? Well, it's still spooky, but the thing in the corner that has my stamina and health went away, which is also kind of spooky. Next, the screen seems so empty, I just realized. Oh, gee, what's that music? What's that music? Oh, it's actually kind of groovy. Spooky's has a jump scares. Karamari Hospital. Oh, so it's just the credits. I'll just, so I just keep going forever until the credits are over, I guess. Well, art and design by Akuma Kira. Your designs and art are great. Programmed by Akuma Kira and Psycho Billy. Your guys' programming is great. 3D modeling by Akuma Kira. Good job, Akuma Kira. Public relations, Psycho Billy. I wonder who these people actually are. It doesn't matter. I guess, because you know this was a really good game, and I actually really liked it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a like or a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.